Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, I'm going to show you what are the map visualization. Now in Power BI Desktop, we have two type of map visualization. First one being the bubble map, which will place bubble all across the location that you have mentioned. And second one is the field map, which will help me to show the outline of the area that you'd like to visualize into. Now our Power BI desktop is very much flexible upon the location that it accepts. That is the location data that you feed to Power BI desktop. It can be more generalistic like the area like city name or the pin code. Depending on that, it will give you the location. Drilling down further to latitude and longitude as well. So if you have the proper latitude and the longitude, it's the best way to get your uh, visualization using the maps. All right, guys. So once you have created a map map visualization let's say for a bubble map the value if you drop the value bucket in the map visualization the moment you drop the values the size of the bubble will increase upon the location that you have mentioned so if uh, let's say for an example we have a location let's say Karnataka and we have the value let's say 10,000 it will show one size for it and if you have a double figure you the size of your bubble will keep on increasing depending on the what value feed you are going to give it all right guys moving on with the next one uh, sometimes when you create the chart you can also see a warning icon now what does this warning icon says that it indicates that the map needs more location data to accurately plot the areas that you would like to mention now this is a very common problem whenever your location data has some ambiguous data like what you what I mean to say let's say for an example Washington now Washington is also a state and it's also a district so at that time it is difficult to plot this area onto the map so how you can fix this it's simple you simply have to go under the power query editor and you have to rename the column names now in this scenario it will be the state so I simply have to go under the power query editor and rename to state so it understands that it is a state and it will map the location accordingly now let's go ahead and see how to create this maps in our power bi desktop using our practical approach hello friends and welcome in this video we are going to see how to create map charts in power bi all right so let's go ahead and get started under the visualization pane you can see there are different type of map charts the first one is a normal map chart the second one is a fill map chart and the third one which i see out here is arcgis maps for power bi this all these map charts are basically powered by bing so if you have any kind of suggestion you can just put it in your suggestion box and send it to power bi so that it gets updated and mark the region accordingly all right guys so this is how the power bi works now let me show you quickly how it is done and how to create map chart for the same for the same reason what i'm doing out here i'm just going to create a new table altogether a simple plain table in which i'll be having some values and the regions according to it all right so i need to go under the enter data tab and i'll simply click on it the moment i click on it i have some uh, table right in front of me i will start typing the name of uh, states in india itself so i will start off with let's say gujarat i'd enter we have rajasthan all right we have kerala we have maharashtra and uh, let's add karnataka as well all right so i have all the regions in front of me let's give them some value some random value let's say 2000 and 5000 let's take 6000 again a 3000 and one let's take it as 4000 all right so i have all the regions and let's give them a header i will give them a header as states and uh, let's say um, revenue it can be anything right i si simply hit enter so i have state and revenue both i will simply load this table on my power bi screen just give it a moment all right, now this uh, table has been added out here as table one if I want to change the name of it. So I'll simply have to select this uh, drop down menu, change name and say Indian States. All right, and I hit enter. 
all right so it can be seen out here now I have revenue and I have states so let's go ahead and start with the very basic map that is a simple map chart I will simply take this drag it, click on this so I have this bubble map chart so if I simply select state drag it here all right so as you can see it has automatically taken the India shape all right this can be seen out here so I have the outline for the Indian map and it has automatically marked the region so this is for Kerala we have right Karnataka we have Maharashtra we have Gujarat and we have Rajasthan out here so this is how it automatically picks up the region as I have already told you that it is powered by Bing so uh, it uh, refers to the Bing maps and get me the results accordingly now for this particular uh, map chart it is necessary that you have an active internet connection alright if you do not have an internet connection this feature will not work on your system or on your laptop guys alright so this was about a basic fill uh, map chart in which I am getting the region as uh, bubble dots alright now I can simply change uh, the color of it by going to this format tab I will not go here if you see there's a drop down menu you can also change the size of this bubble if you're finding that that they are very small you can increase the percentage now you can see the map the bubble size automatically increases alright so this is how this bubble chart on a map is working now let's go ahead and see how this fill chart so for the same set of uh, uh, um, inputs I'm going to create a fill map all right the moment I create a fill map you can see all the regions all the regions that have we have mentioned has automatically occupied those areas and it is giving me the uh, what do you say the results accordingly now under this uh, drop down menu I can see there are so many style map styles map controls that are can be seen now let's go ahead and sele select this map styles if I click on this drop down menu of theme I have basically five themes out here from which I can select any you can have aerial view whether you want an aerial view which looks like this a dark view which pro which almost look like this right as though both are this same visualization a light one which which we already saw right so there are so many things that we can select from and get my results accordingly guys all right I will skip to the light theme so that it makes me uh, give me a simple projection a simple projection with white and bluish background all right so this is what we can do okay moving on if I go under this uh, drop down menu uh, you also have an option when you have a database in which I have which in which I already know what is the latitude and the longitude of it I can also mark the region so if you can see I have a f feature where I can drop in the latitude column and the longitude column and if I f um, fill out these two respective places it accordingly maps the region accordingly or at least get close by to it so this is how the if you have the latitude and the longitude feature the, or the columns ready with you you can use this feature to map this thing on a fill map as well alright guys uh, moving on with the next type of chart is basically uh, this uh, ArcGIS map chart so let's go ahead and cre quickly create a new chart for the same now as you have seen that it has uh, already occupied so much of space in order to get me a new chart I have to either delete one of those or we can do one thing we can simply move on to the next page do you see at the bottom of the screen I have page one this is basically my page one I can simply click on this plus button it automatically adds a page two and I can get a second projection out here as well all right so we'll go ahead and get this ArcGIS map for Power BI I simply click on it I get an empty map I will simply go ahead this time I will go ahead and select some uh, American countries so I will simply select the state and drag it here alright so this particular feature is working it will take some time as it connects to the internet and marks the region accordingly alright I will also need to go ahead and add the revenue so I will simply select the revenue drag it here so it will show me the uh, revenue by states different states of America as my database is completely depend on that it generally takes time just give it a moment alright guys here we go we have the visualization now as you have as you are seeing that it is marking the different states in uh, the United States of America and getting me the results accordingly alright so for different state it is showing you the different revenue alright so this is how this particular map works in Power BI 
okay guys so this was all about maps and how to create maps and how to modify this maps according to our own needs and how to uh, supply the data how to give input the to the data to the maps in power bi all right so this was all about this video in which we learned how to create map charts in power bi hopefully you guys like this video see you until next time